If you've upgraded the SSD in your Mac computer and you haven't enabled trim yet, you might want to do so. Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, it's Chris from Family Geekery, and today we're going to be talking about trim, T-R-I-M. We're going to talk about what it is, how to see if it's enabled on your computer, and how to enable it if it's not. So first of all, let's talk about what trim is. And trim is basically a way for the operating system to efficiently store data on an SSD. Now each operating system does a little bit differently, but basically when there's a part of the drive that's unused, the drive doesn't simply just delete the data, it just marks it as unused. And when that unused data is sitting there, it may need to be written over. So now at some point when the operating system tells the drive, hey, write this data to this part, it's going to say, oh, I need to delete it first, and then I can write onto it. And that's just not efficient. Not only is it inefficient, but it can also lead to unneeded wear and tear on that drive, making the drive fail faster potentially. So Trim basically keeps tabs of what's used and what's not used, and it frees up that unused space so that the next time the drive has to write something, it can spread it out equally throughout the drive and use the memory cells on that SSD more efficiently and prolong the life of your drive. So starting all the way back with Mac OS X 10.7, or Lion, Mac started supporting Trim, but they only support it on their drives. And that's because they wanted to make sure that the drives that they were implementing it on would actually handle it and, and it wouldn't lead to any kind of data corruption. So if you were to go ahead and take that original drive out of your Mac and replace it with a third party, then it's not going to support trim by default. So that's what we have to look at to see if it's supported, if it's turned on, and how to turn it on. So remember back a couple videos ago, we took this drive out of this 2012 uh, Retina MacBook, and we put in a mSATA drive that we shucked out of a Samsung portable SSD. So I'll put a link to that description in the description below the video where we replace that hard drive. So now it's time to check to see if trim is enabled and enable it if it's not. So to see if it's enabled, we're going to go up to the Apple menu here. Click on About This Mac. Click on System Report. Then we're going to click on SATA. And we're going to find our drive. And here it is, the Samsung Portable SSD that we took out of that T5. And right down here it says Trim Support, no. So, as expected, by default, Apple said, hey, that's not the drive that we started with, that's not this guy anymore. So let's go ahead and disable that trim. So now we have to go in and, and manually enable it. And it's not that hard, so let's go ahead and do that. So before we enable this, you want to make sure if there's any data on this drive that is crucial to you, Go ahead and back that up now. Now, assuming that you're on a brand new drive, then you should be good to go. But if you do have stuff stored on there, you want to back that up just in case enabling trim does cause some data corruption. So let's go ahead and close these out. And next thing we're going to do is go to terminal. So you can find that a couple different ways. I'm just going to go up to spotlight search, start typing in terminal, and open that up. Now I know terminal can be a little scary sometimes, but this is a pretty easy command. We're just going to type in sudo space trim force space enable. That's it. And I'll go ahead and I'll put that down in the description so you can copy and paste it if you want. And then just hit enter and it's going to ask for your password. I'm going to type in my super secret password. And now it's going to warn us, hey, you may not want to do this. Know what you're doing first. If you wish to proceed, hit yes. And then it says it's going to reboot. Is this okay? You say yes. And now it's going to do its thing and reboot. All right, so the MacBook has rebooted. Nothing blew up, so that's a good thing. I'm going to close out this terminal window. 
and now it's time to see if it took. So we're going to go back to Open Apple, About This Mac, System Report, SATA, let's click on our drive, and now you can see Trim Support says yes. So it, it was successful. So to summarize what that all means, without getting into the, all the mumbo jumbo of how SSD drives really work, just know that now your SSD is going to be a little bit more efficient. It could potentially speed things up a tiny bit in reading and writing, and it's going to prolong the life of that drive that you just installed. So I would say all those three things are positives. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you came to this video from one of the other upgrade videos, thank you for coming and checking this out. And good luck with your upgrade. If you have any questions, go ahead and throw those down in the comments below. But thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to uh, hit that like button if this helped you out. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more stuff like this. And be sure to check out our Family Geekery podcast with new podcast episodes every Tuesday covering all kinds of geeky stuff. Me and my daughters talk about all kinds of weird, wacky, geeky stuff. So check that out. And until next time, peace out and geek out.